Hello boys and girls, Nero is finally back. As usual, with my new challenge, which is how to force RBD solver talks to pyro solver. Meaning, during this simulation, our rigid body solver needs to take the velocity from the pyro solver into consideration. On the other hand, this pyro solver needs to take the RBD result as its collider. Before we start, I assume you already understand or have the knowledge of what is the RBD solver and how does the pyro solver works. Then let's uh yeah, let's start. As you can see, I already finished my test. I was going to use this uh, for an explanation, but you know what? I got a new idea, and why don't we start from fresh? Yeah, so uh, I prepared a brand new Houdini. Then let's do it. Let's give it a name uh, RBD Talk to Pyro. Oh, capital Pyro. Yeah. Before I, uh, I actually. Let me show you. This is what I did, a, a wall. I cut it into pieces, but it's still a wall. But this time, I want to try something different. To be honest, I'm doing this on the fly, so you may need to bear with me. And uh, yeah, let's scatter some points on it. Let me scatter maybe 10 spheres. And let's copy that. Copy two points. Let's copy the spheres onto the point. And uh, yeah, for calculation sake, I want it to be simple. So I just use uh, primitive spheres. And uh, let's move it up. Transform. And uh, what is the readers? Let's copy that. And the translate on y axis. Oh, that's too much. Should I divide that by two? Is it on the ground? No. Uh, yeah, I think I need to divide another two. Yeah. Because this is radius and this is not diameter. And I already shrink it down. So, yeah, I guess I have to match it by i maybe i should minus zero one something like that you know what i don't i don't care let's let's leave it here and then let's use a pi sorry i use a assemble to assemble it and uh, create packed primitives and give it some name then we got a uh, 10 packed fragments and in here, each of them has name, 0 to 9. Yeah, cool, nice. And let's uh, give it all, name it, alt, rbd, source, give the color. And then, let me think. Let me make a yeah, big square. I use this as our uh, pyro source. Where is it? Let's leave it here. Go to top view. Okay, let's make something like that. And uh, yeah, actually, the create. Because now uh, we're going to need a V to this direction. And, and I believe this direction is negative x so the value should be like that let's see can we see it yeah it's here not too obvious but we have it then uh let's uh yeah let's be lazy uh bdb from uh, polygons i want to make a focal bdb you know what let me change the background to dark so it's easier for us to visualize. And also, we're going to rasterize V. Now we have density and V. Oh, I accidentally click somewhere else and uh, 
give it another name. Uh, let's call this Pyrosaurus and dot network. Yeah, let's uh, do this one by one. Gravity. I mean, let's start from uh, from RVD solver and rigid body solver. First, we're gonna need these in the RBD pack to object fetch it from the first input uh, yeah. okay. need the ground the ground plane oh. and I don't want to see you please hide yeah then let's see they just stay there mm-hmm and uh, you know what? Let's test it. So, for example, uh, I also make a V and uh, give you some number. Is it, is it gonna work? Mm hmm. Inherit. Yeah, it works. It's nice. It's working. So, no need for that. And no need for this. It's done. It's, uh, this is our rigid body result and I don't want that much of frames maybe 100 and on the other hand let's make a uh, pyro solver of course I want to use uh, sparse it's easier to calculate and then we're gonna need a smoke smoke object and let's uh, link these voxel size. Link this voxel size to these voxel size. And uh, you know what? Let's check why below us closed. And then, uh, bottom source connect to the third dot one two three. This is sourcing. Go to here, make a fetch from second, an enlarge field, and let's uh, choose the initialize preset. Uh, yeah, I don't want temperature. Let's see. Do we have anything? Yes. We have something. Now, how to make them talk to each other? Let's use a static solver. Because uh, only solvers talk to solvers. If we're going to connect it like this. Ah, before this, we have a gacha. For the rigid body solver, it doesn't have inbuilt gravity, so we gotta connect a gravity here. But for the pyro solver, I believe there is a gravity parameter. So we don't have to put it here. It, it is wrong, otherwise, it's gonna be a double gravity. We don't want it. And yeah, let's see. Is it going to work? Nothing. Right? So, here's my recipe. I got two recipes. The first one is if you're going to search for force, there is a field force. Let's connect it here. And it's asking, or should I say searching, for the force, which we don't have. But I can use fetch data to fetch the data from this object. Yeah, this is all useless. This is the object name, okay? What you're gonna fetch is the well field and also this should be well yeah let's uh give it a large number just to see if it's going to work whoa uh before this there's a guide we need to hide the guide otherwise it's gonna it's gonna be everywhere oh it works you know see yeah it's nice uh, so i can lower the force even lower yeah, it somehow worked. 
Now what's next? We need to tell the pyro solver to use these little spheres as its collider. Otherwise, see, it's not affecting, I mean, the spheres are not affecting the smoke. We're going to need it. If we go into hide the density, but show collision, there's something, okay? You can see that there's something. Collision, 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 collision. Even I disable this, still we can see something. Which means, yeah, it knows the spheres should be a collider, but it's wrong. How does it know? In the merger, there is a, uh, a factor relationship. It says left inputs affect the right inputs. That's why this one knows these two gonna affect it. Yeah, you can choose uh, mutual, but you know, for this special case, it's, it's easy to calculate. If you're going to do a big thing or uh, or something really complex, then it's gonna be not as efficient as uh, this option. So I intend to keep it. Then how can we fetch the spheres? Yeah, here's what we're going to do. And we're gonna need a static solver. And uh, a static object, static object, static solver, and merge it. Reverse it. Oh, by the way, the hotkey of reversing is Shift R. We gotta grab something. We can't just uh, fetch the spheres here. It's gonna give us an arrow. I show you. If you're going to fetch the geometry from there, why is geometry? Because uh, we want to fetch this geometry. These are the attributes of the spheres. Let's see. Yeah, it somehow works, but the collision is still wrong. Check the collision. What is this? As before, if we disable that and uh, enable density, yeah, it's being blocked somehow, but still not right if you're going to decrease the voxel size. Let's see. Yeah, if you're going to see here, it definitely works somehow, but it's wrong. For uh, for this case, if I'm not, if I'm if I'm just uh, grabbing, yeah, yeah, yes, I this is my secret. Uh, I calculate a collision VDB, but uh, as I was saying, if we're going to grab the geometry here. The smoke is gonna penetrate the object, which is definitely wrong. So this one doesn't work. Then what we do? We're gonna need a VDB uh, sub solver. That's why I added a sub solver here. And in this sub solver, I say, give me the little spheres. G Alma tree. Yeah. And let's dive in. There's nothing. Cause uh, we need to tell this one we want a G Alma tree. Okay, this is our little spheres. And uh, what's next? Let me think. Uh yes, we're gonna use a VDB from polygons again. Ah. Uh, you know what, that, ah, okay, the downside of uh, of the primitive sphere is that is not a primitive. Mm. Convert, can we convert it? I didn't try before. Yeah, looks like it works. I want to convert you into polygon. Yeah, it works. Didn't expect this before. Now we have, uh, our uh, little VDB, but what we're really going to need is a uh, collider, I think, or, or sorry, not collider, it's collision. 
and in here we can specify this server. Check the viewport. This is before, only the spheres. Now it has the VDB. Mm, I think I can also link this with uh, the solver box size here. Uh, it's not going to work. Why? Don't know. Yeah. Maybe a dis display box or something. Anyway, we have it. The cool thing is we can, uh, where is it? We can go here and uh, tell the static solver that uh, we gonna use the volume collision. Sorry, not this one, volume. Yeah, you don't have to change this if you don't want because uh, we are already importing VDB. And the VDB name is actually a uh, collision. Like we said before, the point is the pyro solver is, is smart enough to understand, oh, that's a collider. Uh, another, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, let's uh, disable all these. If you're going to source collision from the salt, it says collision and collision. It knows what collision means. And collision value, oh, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, we forgot about that. And uh, we're supposed to fetch that and call this one collision well. Vector type is uh, acceleration velocity. Oh. And this time, let's see. And uh, where is where is our collision? This is definitely different from before, because uh, this collision come from here, and it knows. Let me give you another color, like uh, what I did before. This is our new collision. This is already much better than before. Mm -hmm. Density. All you need to care about is uh, the resolution of the simulation. Let's make it higher. And uh, yeah, that's uh, 0 0.02. Let's see the result. Okay, this is our little simulation. Seems nice, huh? Now let's wrap around what we did. First, we fetch the velocity from the pyro solver and use it as a force for the RBD solver. And second, we use the stop solver to generate collision VDB for the pyro solver and how to fetch it use a static solver. We basically just uh, did these two steps. This is the first recipe I was talking about. Second recipe is, you know, this is mm, not exactly controllable. For example, uh, yes, you can keyframe these, but uh, unlike uh, uh, Wrangle or Vob that you can do many things about it, that's first. And the second, this is not very efficient. You know, I'm going to say this again. If this is a large scale of simulation, then it's going to waste lots of time on it. So here comes the second recipe. Second recipe is about how to get rid of these two nodes. Like I said, it's not efficient. If we disable this, then we got to find our own way to fetch the, it's not here, to fetch the velocity fill for read body solver. Here's what I did. Another solve solver. This one is for fetching the velocity. Oh, before we dive in, we also need to tell this one we want the geometry, which is our little spheres, my tree from here.
and uh, let's go in we want to fetch geometry yeah this is our little sphere but how to I I mean how to grab and the well field from outside that's by using a dropping board fields the dump network should be this dump network and uh, the object should be smoke we're not going to fetch any of the field but the well now as you can see we got the well xyz e Let's uh, give it more frames. Okay, it's not moving because uh, we disable this too. It's good. Now we can uh, prove to ourselves: is it are we uh, successfully grabbed that uh, by using a, uh, a volume slice? Can we get something? Okay, we definitely have something. Uh, 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 let's uh, find the correct height. Yeah, here. Okay, it's pretty low. And then, in trail. Let's see, can we see some? Okay, this is what we have. This is the velocity. Yep, yeah, we have it. Now, we are going to make a point bob. Since there's only a well, yes, I can fetch that, but uh, I'm not sure. Maybe uh, what I'm going to do is useless, but I still want to convert that into VDB. Maybe I don't have to, like I said. I convert that into VDB, and there are three VDBs I need to BDB merge vector, yeah, vector from scatter what we have. Now we only have a well VDB. And by the way, since there is only a one field, and when we dive in, we can use a volume sample vector to sample that on the primitive number zero. Because, like I said, there's only uh, one field on that. And uh, you know what? If we're going to say this is our force, can we have our force? Let's hide everything. And uh, yeah, let's see force. Uh -huh. There are force. Which means, oh. Yes, I want to prepare for this. I'm going to give you a multiplier, make it maybe uh, 1000, I want to make it crazy, and eventually this is what we're going to have. Is it going to help us? E Fingers crossed, I hope that could help, and let's see. It's static. It's not moving at all. <laughs> yeah, that's the the truth. It's not it's not moving. Why? Yeah, I I I I knew this gonna happen. That's because if you go here and go to check geometry and let's hide all attributes and uh, try to find the force. Where is it? There isn't any force. If, but in here we have force, out of here, like I said, see, there isn't any force. So how to deal with it? By using a pop flop. This is still rigid body solver. It actually, every, uh, how to say, every packed primitive for this guy is still a, a point. That's why we always use uh, all kinds of uh, pop dop to affect it. That's why we are using, that's also why we are using pop wop. And in the pop wop, I'm, I'm going to tell this one. Like what we did here. 
Okay, we fetched a sop path. This is sop solver. It's a sop. So we can grab the sop. Put it here. In here, we're gonna import point attribute. Uh, from the first one, I believe. Did I use first one? Yeah, input one. From the first one, uh, we wanna fetch force. And the primitive number should be the same. That's it. Let's, sorry, let's give it force. Now you can see force. So if we go outside, this time it's actually here. I'm not pretty sure why it's, if not if we're not going to use that, it's not going to give us the attribute we added. But yeah, this is a solution. This is how to deal with it. See, force. Yeah, let's see. Is it moving? Oh, oh nice. Now it moved. I can yeah, I can keep seeing the these uh these weird spheres and uh how to deal with it. Let's go outside and prove to ourselves. Mm. Oh yeah, I guess I know why. Because <laughs> in here we forget to check on the forming geometry. It's not deforming, which means it's not going to move. Now this is right. Don't forget about this deforming geometry. And uh, let's go out. Let's uh, make two, one. Sorry, uh, two dot import, one for the points, and the other one for the pyro. Let's uh, fetch RBD first. We're gonna get the little spheres. <laughs> nice. And uh, the other one we want to fetch. Uh, smoke, smoke, come on, where, where, where are you? Here. And this time we want to fetch smoke. This is too much for us, so we don't need any of that, just density and well. Yeah, let's see the result. Oh, that's too much. Let's lower the, this input number. We have the same result, more or less, more or less, and uh, but we're going to have more control about it. You know, this is a solver, and there's this is a VOP, and you can do many things in it. And uh, also, this is also a VOP, and you can do also many things in it. That's the two recipe I get. So why don't we try another case? Let me think, other case. What am I going to do? This is what we have. Uh, let's make a, another sphere. A big sphere. Primitive is enough. And uh, let's move it outside. Maybe two. And uh, a transform. Because you know the transform, it, the pivot of the transform is still at the center. So. Why don't we make it rotate? Yeah, it's moving around. And we're gonna give this guy a velocity, which is like that. Do we have it? Uh, we don't see. Where is it? Yeah, it's here. And, and it is right. But still, I want to normalize it. So it's one, it's easier for my mind to work with. Set V. And like usual, we convert that. Mm -hmm. Let's connect here. This is what we get. I believe density and V. And yeah, let's see the result. One and two. Let's go. Oh, unfortunately, it's not touching it. Hmm, what am I going to do? Ah, you know what? Maybe I made a mistake. First, let's change this guy. I think the direction is wrong. The V direction is 
is pointing the the wrong side. I'm sorry. Negate. No. Decide. Sorry for wasting your time. And let's see. Let's see the result. Oh, it's yeah, it's working. They are interacting each other. The smoke is is using the sphere size uh, the collider, and also the uh, the RBD pack object using the 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 smoke as the pusher. Yeah, it's nice. That's that's the interaction I w I'm talking about. At the end, let's see this beautiful little simulation. Yeah, this is with it, but uh, without it, it's, it's just fall around. That's it. Okay, that's uh, enough for today. Again, I'm Nero. I really hope you like my video. If you have any question, just leave a comment or email me. Or if you just want to say hi, yeah, still okay. So, I'm going to see you next time. Yeah, bye-bye.